This is a replica of a railroad crossing near the Red Bank Station in New Jersey. Right now I'm testing it and basically trying to make it malfunction in any way I can just to see what type of scenarios would have to happen for it to malfunction. And of course I'm going to test it to make sure it functions properly. This is a very complicated intersection. Now, as I said earlier, I've been having trouble with the ATLS crossing, so I'm using TRC. But that doesn't really work too well with traffic lights. The ATLS slaves seem to be able to control the traffic stoppers in order to make the car stop. But if the railroad crossing turns off while the traffic light is red, the cars are going to go through it because they read orders from the railroad crossing controller before they'll read orders from the ATLS system. And when that happens, they won't stop the cars for a while unless the crossing turns on again. So that's something I have to deal with for now until I can find a way around that. All right, now let's test it to see if all the signs work. One of these platforms is not long enough for an entire train, so I'm guessing in real life the train normally stops with either the first car or the eighth car out of the platform. And of course the locomotive would normally be out of the platform too.
In real life, the crossing stays on until the train leaves the station, so I gotta figure out a way to fix that. Can you imagine having to stop the train and blow the horn at the same time? That must be difficult. Also, the Federal Railroad Administration will be all over this crossing if it acted like this in real life. So obviously I gotta find a way to fix that. I'm going to try to give the train the message to close the crossing as soon as it stops at the station and hopefully that will prevent the gates from going up automatically. <laughs>
The gates always seem to go up too early on these TRC railroad crossings. I'm going to try to find a way to fix that as well. These ATLS triggers should control the traffic lights and make them red when the railroad crossing is activated. However, I've been having issues with the ATLS system and they don't always work in TRS 2019, so it's anyone's guess whether or not they'll actually turn red. And even if they do, it's still anyone's guess whether or not the traffic slaves will actually activate the traffic stoppers and make the cars stop. Yeah, they're completely ignoring the traffic light. Not much I can do about that. I have noticed that the ATLS slaves will control the traffic stoppers, but they won't control them directly after a crossing activates. I'm adding two traffic stoppers to the other sides of the crossings to make sure the gates won't open too early. I'm at 
the Westerner Bay waiting for a crew. Okay, I got it for you, okay? All right, Roger. And uh, you put your port readings over to uh, 11 lead, and the ground's over to 6 old. 11 lead is 6 old, Roger. 13 over. <laughs> 10 running. Roger, uh, 10 running, and power against it, correct? Roger. Bay line 16, 13 over. Looks like that message doesn't work when the cab car is in the front. I'm not sure why though. Q434, you're okay, North CP10, over. And IQ434, 24, over. Yep. Turn away, sir. Okay, meet one at uh, Nyack, over. Uh, you're going in the siding. Move to East End 7, L. Williams, 12.50 p.m., over. Oh, no. 
Ron Evo Lee. Roger. Those are GCTs you can pull in the pocket with the power. All right, Roger. Uh, yep, he, he pulled it down far enough where you could uh, get those five in. Agree, B3, uh, up the corny for the eastbound. I just talked to him, he said, uh... That's the Roger, here we go. Yeah, Roger, he's down the corner. Thank you. 
Now we're gonna try two trains at once. Hey, uh, Amster and over. Roger, no D's, they out.
But it looks like all it takes to make this crossing malfunction is to have one train stop on it while having another one pass it. Master, uh, now you said D5's good? Right. 